Okay, YouTube, we have a six-foot sliding door here. This is an Anderson. It's probably about 15 to 16 years old. Uh, there's an old weather stripping that was on the door. It was located on the stationary panel, which went uh, right over here. It interlocks with the, uh, with the uh, operational uh, sliding door, which goes here. Uh, you can see the uh, weather stripping. It's old. Um, I took a piece off already. Here is a piece from the, uh, from the uh, stationary door. And uh, you can see it's all beat up. Doesn't work anymore. So we went up to the, uh, if you go to the operating door and you look up in the glass here, you could see some numbers which are kind of hard to find, but you could see them up here. That's a model number. And what you want to do is you want to order a brand new weather strip for this Anderson door. You can see here's one of them. Uh, it's marked actually for, you can see it says operating door. Uh, there's another one in the corner over there. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach these to the doors and uh, it will uh, reseal the doors when they're, uh, when they're closed. Okay, YouTube, we are going to work on the uh, stationary door first. We have the stationary strip. Uh, you can see it. It's marked right here. Let me focus in on this. It says uh, stationary right over there. Okay, so what's going to happen is this stationary stripping is going to go up against the uh, top portion of the, uh, of the uh, stationary door. And then you can see all the holes right here uh, going down. And what you want to do is you want to sit this stationary strip right against the existing door and start putting in, start at the top, work your way down to the bottom and start putting the screws. There's about nine screws that will hold it in. Okay, YouTube, we just installed the stationary weather stripping, which was screwed on. I will zoom in here, and you can see from this angle, uh, the stripping is installed on to the stationary panel. You can see the stripping right here. All the screws, there's uh, about nine screws from the top to bottom. And all you're doing is uh, placing that up at the top there, and running it tight to the door, to the jam. And uh, you're going to run that straight down. Keep it tight and uh, screw it in. And the next we will op work on the uh, operating door. Okay, YouTube, we just took off the uh, old operating door weather stripping. You can see it right here. I'm going to lay it down on the floor. Uh, you can see it's uh, an old piece of plastic. Uh, the weather stripping is basically just this, just this little edge right here, it's just a little plastic edge. The new weather stripping, I'm going to lay it down next to it so you can compare. It's a little bit more rugged. Um, it's thinner, but it has uh, weather stripping right here. And you can see on the old one, it's just a little, a little piece of plastic here. So uh, this will run up along the whole seam of the door, this, this padding. So we're going to install that now. All right, YouTube, we just installed the operating uh, door um, weather stripping. And uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's on here. It's attached closely to the edge. Uh, we make sure that we push it up against this side of the door, start at the top. You have to make sure on this door that it's even with the bottom of the panel. You can see the weather stripping right over here. It's even with the bottom. Uh, the instructions will tell you that as well. And you're going to run it up that edge. You're going to screw it against the, uh, the, the, the actual frame of the door. You're going to push it in and uh, apply these screws. Uh, now we're going to install the door and it should work no problem.